With the Frame.io workflow extension for Final Cut Pro, we're introducing a dramatically better way to collaborate with your clients and team members, so you can focus on what you love doing most, being creative. Through a close working relationship with the Final Cut Pro team, we've woven all the core features of Frame.io into the fabric of Final Cut Pro. I'm working on this opening sequence for an indie movie. My edit's coming together, but I need to get these shots out to my motion graphics artist. I can now access Frame.io directly from within Final Cut Pro. It's built as a native macOS app, written in Swift, so you get the native desktop performance and feel you'd expect on a Mac. I can drag and drop any clips from the event browser into Frame.io. The event browser is where I've already organized all my footage, so this feature alone is a huge time saver. Dragging from the event browser will always upload the full native source file, not the proxy, but Frame.io will make proxies in the cloud for preview on any device. Andrew, the motion graphics artist, will get a notification that the new full res shots are up, but he also needs my edit reference. I can right click on the project and choose Share to Frame.io. There are two presets, one which will upload in the same format as my project, which in this case is ProRes XQ, or another preset which will upload as H.264. I can upload the flattened timeline, each individual clip from my timeline, or both. If I choose clips, I can optionally upload only clips with markers and choose from a variety of marker types. I can also convert any existing timeline markers to comments upon upload, so if I've already noted everything I want to communicate in the timeline, I won't have to repeat that work in Frame.io. Final Cut Pro will render in the background and use our accelerated, secure, and indestructible uploader. Frame.io is known for having one of the fastest uploaders in the world, so it's able to take advantage of the gigabit connection I'm currently on. Andrew will get an email notification and a push notification. I can see in real time when Andrew starts watching the edit, even exactly where in the edit he's watching and when he starts typing a comment. In this case, Andrew is watching from our Apple Design Award winning iPhone app. He could also be reviewing from our web app or on one of the many other Frame.io integrations we support across a variety of creative tools. This helps keep teams on the same page and truly makes Frame.io feel like a collaborative workspace. Let's go full screen so I have more real estate. If I had dual monitors, I could have Frame.io full screen on one and Final Cut on the other. I can reply to Andrew directly in line without ever leaving Final Cut. Just to make sure things are clear, I'll leave a few notes about what I'm thinking for title placement. Title 1 should go here, and Title 2 should go about here. I have another full length edit that I sent to the director and producer earlier. Let's go back to our saved workspace so I can see Frame.io and Final Cut side by side on the same screen. Looks like they left a bunch of comments. With Timeline Sync turned on, Final Cut and Frame.io playheads will stay in sync as I scrub my Frame.io timeline. That means I can just click through Alex's comments and I know exactly what he's talking about. I can also bring these comments into Final Cut as a compound clip just by dragging and dropping. Each commenter comes in as their own role. I should really address Alex's comments first, and then I'll come back to Abby's. I can use Final Cut's powerful roles and index to focus on only Alex for now and quickly navigate to each comment, complete with on-screen annotation. If I break apart the compound clip, my markers will now stay attached to the clips. So even as I make edits, the comments will always stay in sync. It looks like Andrew has some new titles ready. Without ever leaving Final Cut, I can download the titles and drop them into an event or directly into my timeline. I'm now ready to send a new cut to Alex, titles in place. I'll keep auto version turned on so my project stays neat and organized. If I've sent out any links for review, they'll automatically be updated with the latest version. I can go through 10 of these creative cycles in less time than it used to take one. Frame.io for Final Cut Pro is a powerful new companion and a must have for every Final Cut editor. But don't take our word for it. Download it for free and take hold of an entirely new way to edit with teams right from within Final Cut Pro.